Welcome back to Wooded Lake Adventures. Today we are out at the Wooded Lake property. It's a cold day. You can see I'm wearing a hat in the building just because it's a little cold around here. Um, we're going to do a little work in the building, so I have a new product we're going to open up and review. So let me show you what we got going on. So what we've got here is our Saker brushless cordless drill. Um, it's a 20 volt rechargeable drill. So we're going to go ahead and open that up, see what's in the box, and charge up the battery so we can do some work. Okay. First thing we can see, we have our instruction manual here. And then we have the drill itself. It's a nice compact, a very lightweight, easy to hold, and it's you know, not too long this way. It should fit in some areas when we're working there. Okay. Let's see the weight, though, once we have the battery on it. Obviously, when we use it, we're going to have a battery. So this is only a 1,500 milliamp battery milliamp hour so it's not extremely heavy oh it actually comes partially charged oh, fully charged there's a charge indicator on the back here you can see we have all three green lights so the battery does come fully charged so we've got a few adjustments for speed our strength we can adjust but even with the battery on it's drill's not that heavy it looks like for charging the battery, we have, let's see where that would plug in. Oh, right on top there. So this hole right here looks like you would plug in, and then you can just plug that in your wall, or we could even use it on our portable battery out here to charge since we don't have electric yet. So also in the box, let's get, get rid of the box, we have a little more space. We have a variety of, well, let's call them accessories. When we were out at the Wooded Lake property going over um, this new Saker drill, it was a little darker in the pole barn than I was thinking. Um, I didn't want to run the generator and have all the lights going and have some background noise. So I figured here, you know, we can go over Everything that comes in the box, um, obviously we have the power cord, plugs right in the top of the battery, and a standard outlet. Set some of that aside. We have the instruction manual as well. Um, obviously we have the, you know, the, the unit itself. Um, and as we said, the battery comes pre-charged, so that's kind of nice. We have a couple bags of accessories here. Um, we have a flexible attachment, so you can put that you know, in the drill and you know, reach, say you're reaching around a corner, you know, to drill something on the side or put a screw in that's you know a little hard to get to. You could reach around the side there, so that's a nice convenient piece to have. Um, additionally, it comes with a whole bunch of um, longer screwdriver bits, um, an assortment of torque as well as flat and Phillips, and then a whole setup of um, the same, you know, flat Phillips and torque bits as well. Now, the last bit here, you can see there's one missing, is this get that attached to the drill and what this bit allows you to do is you can then put the a socket on it um, it comes with a set of <clears throat> sockets and you can put the socket on so you could you know tighten a bolt there or if you had a screw with a hex head you could tighten that um, there's a whole assortment of sizes here does not look like they're labels written on there, but the sizes are. Oh, no, sorry, they are. So 
So there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen millimeter sizes, um, which you know is quite a variety. So that's kind of nice. And we then have a variety of drill bits. Um, allows you to obviously you know drill a hole. It may not be every size you need, but not a big deal to have in you know, another set of bits. And lastly, it has a another attachment for putting in um, you know screws with a hex head or you know, even tightening a bolt. So we'll set those aside. And our last bag of goodies has a set of brushes. So we have two flat brushes, a small and a large. Um, even, you know, something like this bench, we say, oh, <clears throat> we did some finishing on it. We've got, you know, some oil spilled on it or some paint, whatever. We could easily put this in the drill and you know, scrub our area to clean it. Um, we may use that out in the pole barn if you know, we spill something on the floor, whether you know, we're filling some equipment, we spill you know, a little gas or diesel fuel, or you know, we're changing the oil and we spill something. It'd be nice to use that to scrub things. Um, and then we have this additional brush, which I think I mentioned previously, would be great for um, cleaning the wheels on the truck. You, know, you can get it right in there, get all the brake dust off, get them polished up nicely. So, overall, very pleased with you know, our, our brushless drill here, as well as all the accessories it comes with. Um, let me go ahead and grab a piece of scrap wood. I'll put a bunch of screws in, see how, how it does. Okay, we've got a block of cherry scrap here. We've got a bunch of two and a half inch screws that our torque bit put in, and we'll see you know, how we do. And I want to put them in all the way and go through into my table here. So, you know, put another piece underneath just to prop that up, prevent us from. Damaging my work surface here. As you can see, we've got plenty of power. We will sink that one in below the surface a little bit. All right, now we've got a piece of extra scrap on the back attached, so we don't have to worry about you not know, slipping around. Done a ton of screws. That's only four, that's our seventh. Cherry is a fairly hard wood, and we are putting in a two and a half inch screw here. <laughs> Alright, we'll do this tenth one and we'll see what our battery indicator shows. You can see our battery, we're still 100% full. Yeah, we'll try another ten, then we can back those out and see where we are. Obviously the battery is pre-charged, so I don't know how long it takes to charge the battery. But I do really like the weight of the drill. It's a nice light drill. You 
the only thing I'd say it's missing would be to say the carry bag to put the drill and all its accessories hold together. <laughs> what we'll probably do is grab you know a bag from Harbor Freight, one of those multi pocket tool bags, you know, five, ten dollars, whatever they are, just to keep everything together. <laughs> Once we start putting the walls up in the pole barn, this will be very useful. We'll have a drill we'll just leave out there. But, you know, it's a nice compact drill. It can be a great drill to leave in the back of your truck. If you periodically need something, you have it there. It's not an expensive drill. And you don't have to worry about, you know, having it in the truck. It's nice and small, compact, relatively cheap. It seems to be fairly effective at the job it's doing. I'll put the two more screws in that I've got sitting on the table here. And then we'll see what battery we're at and how many screws we've done. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We've put in 22. We're still 100% battery. We'll go ahead and back those out. And obviously we did. You know, some just fooling around when we had the brush attachments in that were running. I'd say so far you know, it has plenty of power to sink those screws in and recess them, you know, as you'd want. I'll put the, the Amazon link in the description of the video here, but you know, for a sub forty dollar drill, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what else you'd want. You know, it'd be nice if it had a larger battery instead of a fifteen hundred milliamp battery. Make it last longer. It would obviously add quite a bit to the weight. Sawdust in that one here. Let me clean that out. Put a few too many screws in next to each other here. Um, you know, it would add to the weight, make it run longer. So, is it really worth it? I don't know. But, you know, very. Very happy with the, the drill thus far. Obviously, we'll give it more of a workout when we start putting up the wall in the pole barn once we get the boards up. And putting those wall boards up, we'll be using. Probably the same two and a half inch screws. And it's taking quite a few screws, so we'll see how it does then. But right now, you know, we're still on our three dots. It's still, you know, probably 80% full or whatever. And we put in 22 screws, backed out 22 screws. Um, I can grab a drill bit. We could drill a couple holes here. it back in there. Uh, 
All right, I am going to say the drill bit does not seem to be the sharpest. Let's say if I had to find a negative, I would say the drill bit here isn't necessarily the sharpest. Um, obviously, you've seen some of our previous videos. We have a couple drill bits that aren't the sharpest, so maybe we'll run those through our sharpener when we do our other bits. But overall, seems like a great drill and very happy with it. It's the, the Saker 20 volt. Um, this is a 1.5 amp battery. It's a lithium ion battery. It's brushless drill, 20 volt cordless, obviously, and relatively light. I don't know the exact weight here. It doesn't look like it's written on it. Let's see it's on the box, but it is a very light drill. I'm not seeing it written on the box. Um, it's a nice light drill, and really, so far, very happy. As always, thank you for watching our video. Please give our video a like, please share it with your friends, please subscribe to the channel so you know when we post new videos, and leave us a comment. Thank you.